You know, I'm looking for a React Native tailwind package. And there's a few out there, and but sadly, they don't work. So what am I talking about? Well, I found one that does work, and this is the React Native Win project. Now, this isn't a sponsored ad. In fact, this package is from a one developer, it looks like. And it's not well maintained uh, outside of, you know, some package bumping uh, about two months ago. But it works and it works quite well. And I'm about to show you how that works. And so what is it, first of all? It, this is a library that comes from the need to write the style of an application in a quick and simple way using concise, a concise and easy to remember API. So basically using Tailwind um, to do your styling instead of React Native core style sheet styling. And I'm not talking Expo here, I'm talking uh, React Native CLI. It's, it's sort of also, he didn't mention this, but it's also very similar to uh, Twind, which is what I've been using in, in Dino um, and Dino Fresh. So, Let's just show you how easy this is to use. Okay, so you essentially just write code that looks similar to, let's see, getting started. Uh, you install it, right? We're gonna do that. And you basically have the syntax S, which is a style property of, with S of, the, of a function that calls the Tailwind library and injects the classes that you're familiar with, right? So the syntax you're familiar with. That's perfect. Um, so let's show you how that works. Now, before I get into that, there is another one called Native Wind. And Native Wind has 551 stars, whereas the other one has uh, seven stars. And I just gave them one extra star. I did not give this package one star yet because I couldn't get it to work. Um, now, people are saying, oh, this is great for... Expo. And I, that I believe because Expo is a little bit friendlier, I feel like, uh, if you're just getting started. React Native CLI is a little bit more do everything yourself. Bring everything to the project yourself. We're not going to give you anything, which I love. I like that. So anyways, I couldn't get this thing to work. I went through it a few times. I made a few videos on this and it still didn't work. So I'm giving up until I can get it to work. This doc, this syntax, uh, some of this is wrong. For instance, when you do do uh, when you do a CLI uh, in it for um, for React Native, uh, there's a presets uh, array here as well that is not part is he's not showing that or they are not showing that in the Babel config here. And I don't know if that has something to do with it, but if this is just for CLI, then why do I see Expo status bar here? So I plan on making a separate video, sending it over to these developers and showing them. Here's what I ran into. You know, let's troubleshoot this so it works. Now, the other beef I have here is why don't we have, you know, something like this, something like this, or even better yet, Tailwind creates a styling package for React Native specifically. I feel like we're, this is so common in developers' worlds where we don't do enough research and we're building independent projects, yet these two brains are on this or multiple brains. This package has just one, it looks like, but the other one over here has multiple, it has, you know, multiple contributors. If we take a look down here, I'm sorry, where is it? Yeah, right here. So it's used by 30, okay, contributors 13. There's 13 contributors. Why don't they, like one of the guys work, you know, this guy should, uh, whatever. I'm not gonna rant on that. I just think that we should all work together, build the same things. It's, it makes no other sense to me. Um, maybe you have different opinions, but, so let's do this. Let's. Uh, let's dive into some code. So we're going to run React Native CLI. So let's run npx React Native init awesome TS project double hyphen template React hyphen native hyphen template hyphen TypeScript. Okay, so let's run that project and we'll build out and we'll scaffold out our project. So while that's doing that, let's understand what we're trying to do. We don't want to use React Native uh, let's see, React Native Style Sheet. We don't want to use this core library. 
I don't want to use this core library. I've used it. It's great to a point, but this gets very tedious and I don't want to do that. Um, I want something I'm familiar with, which has been Tailwind on most of my web projects. So um, if I can figure out a way to get Tailwind in anything I'm building, I'm probably going to do it. Um, I, in, you know, for React Native, your styles could be super heavy. I don't think you really have to worry about tree shaking, things like that, or performance on the front end of that. I could be wrong, but I, I, I think like the styling has a low impact to that. Uh, unless you're doing some animation stuff, then I think you know you get hit and your frames will drop. But let's see if that finished. That is done. Okay, so cool. So we have our project. Let's CD into that project. Uh, let's open up the code here so we can see what we have as far as boilerplate is concerned. Uh, I'm going to bring this over just a little bit and bring this one over here a little bit. If you're wondering what I'm using for this, it's called Spectacle. Uh, uh, Spectacle. It's an old application. I don't think you can even find it anymore, but it's my go-to. I love it. It's just because I'm familiar with the commands. So that's my window manager going back and forth, up and down, all that stuff. So boom, 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 all that. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> so we don't have it installed yet, this package. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say get started. And we will go down to where it is getting started. Yes, yes, yes. We're just going to copy this command, the yarn add react hyphen native hyphen wind command. And we will go ahead and paste that in our trusty terminal and hit enter. And that should finish now. It is done. The next thing we're going to want to do is how to use it. Well, it's super simple. You import it from here. So you import S. We'll just put it there. Uh, and then you can style things with the style tag like this. So we will go ahead and do that. We'll just copy that and we'll put it somewhere. So I think I'm going to just put it on uh, this view right here. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and put that there and we'll go like that. Now with that done, I should be able to, uh, fire up my project. So to do that, we're going to do NPX. Uh, what is it here? And whoops, NPX, uh, we're going to do react hyphen native start command. We'll do that. We'll start the project. So we'll get the, uh, the server actually running and then we will do NPX iOS, which is whoop. We'll get that one back. NPX, React Native, I uh, run hyphen iOS. So we'll that'll start the simulator, <clears throat> and I can show you what we're doing here. This would be a very uh, simple explanation of this, but okay. Unable to boot. That's all right. We'll just click OK. It'll still work. Uh, there is a fix for that out there. I think it's because I already had another project in here. Yes, I already have two of these projects. So it's like, hey, you can't do that. And I think that's what that is. All right. And while we're while we're doing that, let me just break some syntax. So if you're familiar with um, Twind, which is something I've been using for my Dino projects I've been working on lately, the function that they use, their import or their exported function is TW. This other one uses, uh, where am I here? This package here, the React Native Wind package, the one I prefer, is using an S variable. So like this, here we go, uh, or, or an S function, and uh, just a naming convention difference. But I would like to use TW. Why? Because I, if I build a Next.js app or a MyDino project, I want to repurpose my components because I'm so, so, so sick of rebuilding Components. I'm sick of it. Like we do it in every project. It's it's so tedious and it's such a waste of time. We're not actually, we're like building, we're building crap to get to the product. Like we build so much junk and just garbage. No offense to our code. I mean, we build like 600 login screens every new project and we should just be able to import things. That's would be ideal, right? Uh, and there, there are ways to do that, but, um, for this, I'm going to change the S to TW. And so we'll just go up top here and we'll just say S as TW and we'll, that should just work then. I'm going to remove some of this boilerplate before I show you the actual reveal of the app. And I'm going to kill the style sheet because I do not want to use that. And so we're probably going to have some breaking problems with that. Like this one, we won't want styled. 
anything that doesn't have a style sheet, we're going to, or anything that does have a style sheet, we're going to want to get rid of here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. And uh, what did I do there? That should have worked. And then we're going to kill this entire object of style sheet. Okay, so we are almost done. Let's kill this one too. And this one. And we'll save that. And we don't have a dark mode because we're not going to do that right now. So we're just going to kill that. And I think we're green now. I think we're good to go. Okay. So now the big reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you with the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification and smash down that red thing and make it gray. When I change this color now to BG red uh, 100 and save it, you now get a reddish tone. If I say 900, which is the darkest variable in the array of colors, you get that. How cool is that? So it just works, super simple, no crazy configuration, no Babel configuration. I didn't have to go into anything to configure. I added a package just like you would and it works. Okay, that's the way you do it, folks. That's how you should do it. Um, we don't need to make things more complicated. And this isn't a jab on this other library here, um, but I couldn't get it to work. So it seems like it works well with uh, React Native Expo. It did not work with React Native CLI. And let me just point out another thing here and some, and I don't want to call out sloppiness, but uh, I'll call out attention to detail. So I believe status bar is not coming from Expo status bar, but I could be wrong. I could, I could be totally wrong. Maybe they changed the API, but like, no, I don't want this. This isn't what I want. I don't want that. I want React Native style uh, status bar. I, I don't know if that's even part of the core package. Let's go find out. Yeah, it is. Status bar. So this documentation is incorrect, so I will call it out. Um, and I spent two videos or two attempts at making a video to, to make this work. It did not work. So I'm not a big fan of this native wind right now. I am a fan, though, of the solo developer who created uh, this package here. React Native Wind. I will leave this uh, link in the description and you guys can check that out. So let's just go back and make a few more style changes. So let's say on this one, we'll do style equals curly braces, uh, TW back ticks, right? And then we can say uh, P equals 10 for some padding. And we can say BG, uh, we'll say, I don't know, gray 200. Uh, text 2XL, we'll say for the, there you go, right? Pretty awesome. And for this one, I'm just going to say PY is going to be, uh, we'll cut that in half. So we'll say five. And then for the PX, the X axis, we'll say, we'll say five for that as well. Okay, so nice. And then for the children, let's make that a little bit bigger and we'll make it a different color. Text uh, LG for large and nice okay and then uh we will say text um purple and if i can spell it right purple uh, spelling right again okay oh boy purple <laughs> uh 300 and you get that that's pretty ugly so we'll say like a 600 and we'll do the same for like a title. We'll just make it a different color. I think you're getting the idea here though, right? Right? This is pretty sick. Uh, let's say blue. If I could only spell right. And we'll say 600. There you go. So you get the idea. That's incredible. And so you, you can really make some significant style changes. Now, the other cool thing I want to show you, this is just a, a bonus here, is... In your Next or you know uh, Next JS app or Re Create React app or whatever you're using for your web app, let's just say uh, instead of a div, because you can't do that in um, React Native, you can't use divs and paragraphs, right? That won't work. You see that? So what I commonly do is I'll make a component uh, that will be called View, and I'll also apply that same component. Um, on native and web and I'll put it in a mono repo like turbo repo or something like that. And what I would do then is create like a shared component uh, package where I can, you know, export the view component to both 
packages, both React Native and the web. And therefore, you're writing your components once, essentially, if you can, you know, work that out in, in your designs. And you can, you know, if they're generic enough, I guess it would work. Um, and then you could have a, you know, this would be your div and this would be your paragraph. And you can add like a, what I also do is I'll do something like as P or as, as H1 or so I can do my SEO type things or my styles of based on headers and whatever else. So it becomes super powerful. So I don't think you need to write like so much code to do both things. You should be repurposing this kind of stuff and using it throughout your apps. All right. So that's been the video. I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, I'm going to put the links in the description for all of uh, these resources that I found. Um, I think you're going to like that a lot. And I really hope you share this React Native Win project with the, your community and try it out yourselves. This is not a sponsored ad. This is just something I found and uh, found a use for it. So I'm going to use it. So, hey, thanks again. I'm Eric. I'll see you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.